Hey guys, this is Jeanette with 180. Uh, we have challenged you to read five <laughs> You know, we're just going to keep going. We have challenged you to read five Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, don't keep going. Pause. Okay. You gotta, can't laugh at me. Okay, sorry. No, okay. Pause, and then they can cut that out. So, okay. pause. Ready? Hey, this is Jeanette with 180. We have challenged you to read five psalms in the month of June. And the verses that stood out to me from today's psalms are Psalm 19, verses 12 to 14. Um, how can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. This is a prayer of David's to God. He is very aware that he sins a lot, even without meaning to, and that's just like us. I want to be praying just like David, that God would help me guard the thoughts of my heart and the words control the words of my mouth so that he is pleased with me. The only way to keep my thoughts and my words pure is to read and love God's word. This is seen in the verses before, in verses 7 to 11. As we spend time in God's word, even as we do this psalm challenge, let's allow God to change our thoughts and our words. He is our rock who never changes, and he is our redeemer who has saved us. If we're given our lives to him, we are his. Let's allow him to change our thoughts and our words. Love you guys.